It's made from red taffeta, which of course has got that lovely rustling, rustling feeling when you're dancing. And it's got a nice full skirt for swinging around. It belongs really, not just to me, but to Peter and to Flo. It's something that I have that connects me right back to both of them. Peter, of course, he, he was the life of the family in a way. My uncle was artistic and he could always think out the funny things and he was always busy at some kind of artwork. I'd go and visit he and his wife when it was my holiday time. He'd be wanting to know what I'd been doing here and there and everywhere, and you'd be t telling him about the ball you'd been to, and he'd say, well, you know, you should have a nice ball dress. He said, I painted up a ball dress for Flo once. I'll tell you what I'll do, he said. I'll get Flo to get the red taffeta, and I'll paint the panel, and you can make it up then. That was in August, and in December, that same year, he died of cancer very, very suddenly. It was very sad. Christmas time, of course, I was home with Mum and Dad and we weren't expecting any visitors. Our house was on the orchard and fruit trees were bearing and their flow comes bearing the the gift when I opened it up, it's yards and yards of red taffeta. And she said, well, Peter wanted the dress for you, I know, so perhaps you can make it yourself. I was just dumbfounded, really, to think that in all her time of sorrow that she would even have time to, to have purchased the red taffeta and to bring it along to me. got to thinking, well, I'll have to use my needle and thread, I can't do painting. And I inserted a panel of lace down the front, but on top of that, I could applique the red roses climbing up from the skirt up to the top. Each time it went on, you'd think about him and think of all that he had done and all that he may have done in the future had he still been with us. It was all old time dancing, the waltzes and pride of errands and gypsy chips and lots of fun, <laughs> lots of fun. So I wore it for a lot of years and then the years go by and what do I do with it? Well, I just keep it. It's there in that box and it's there, it's with me. Peter's still with me. Flo's still with me. And, and I just don't want to let it go. It's that I keep it and get it out now and again and have a little look at it and have a little think about it all and remember them. <laughs>